just a month ago where the street was on earnings and revenue was like significantly lower. And then just in January where it was. I mean, that, it's not that they're missing it by a little bit. That You could stick the Grand Canyon in how far away <laughs> Wall Street is when, from these numbers when they actually come out. Is that one of the reasons we often get a muted response? Yeah, I think absolutely. I mean, it's kind of like we're talking about movies today, Groundhog Day, right? It's like you can expect <laughs> analysts to be dead wrong, uh, underestimate how powerful this economy is, and then surprise, surprise, we know CEOs love to undercut what they think that they can do from quarter to quarter. So I think you're going to see more surprises in the positive. Uh, all the economic data is just coming in phenomenal. And I've said this for a long time, Charles, with so much cash out there, our biggest risk here isn't the market crashing. It's a melt up from these levels. And I think a lot of investors are going to miss the boat because they're still sitting in cash. Now, there have been some questions about the housing boom, whether it's stalling or not. Uh, of course, you look at the price of the median home uh, and, and you look at these housing stocks, they really haven't kept up. You know, is there an opportunity here, Ryan? I like cheap Charles, and at eight times forward earnings, I think that, that you know, any sort of builder is a great place to be because it's a longer term story here, right? Millennials, they all want to live in apartments. They all want to live in houses now. There's an undersupply of houses. We had housing starts come in way better than expected this week, complete surprise. So I think that's a longer term story. And I like the supply demand right. story there. And I like the right. cheapness on that stock. I would definitely buy the builders here, 100%.